About four years ago, Point Park University gave their education students the opportunity to complete their master's degree online versus on campus. It originally started as a way to keep the program afloat, but it turned out to be much more than that. Sabrina Filkowski gets up every morning around 5 a.m., gets in her car, and drives to Westmont Hilltop Elementary School where she teaches first grade. When she comes home around 4.30, she will grade papers, get out her laptop, and work towards getting her master's degree online through Point Park University, a school that is about two hours away from her home. I've never been to Point Park campus. It makes it easier because I don't have to travel for my classes. I can go home right after work. Sabrina tells me that the option of taking courses from her own home allows the program to be more accessible to her. According to a new study released from the United States Census Bureau, the number of people holding master's degrees, age 25 and older, went from over 10 million in 2000 to 21 million today. Dr. Richard Gutkind says that he has seen this growth take place in the education master's program at Point Park because of this online trend. Really, in this day and age, this is what our students want, especially graduate students. In the state of Pennsylvania, teachers are required to gain an additional 24 credits before their sixth year of teaching. And Dr. Gutkin says that a lot of these teachers think that if they are taking these 24 credits anyway, they might as well just get their master's degree. And although the salaries of teachers vary depending on the school district, a master's degree greatly helps. Most teachers' contracts are set up in a way that the more credits you have earned, you get a little bit of a bump in your salary. If you have a master's degree, it continues to grow. And Dr. Gutkin says it also helps society as a whole. We need the best possible teachers in our schools right now. Now, Dr. Gutkin told me that they are looking to add more programs in the near future. Nicole Fashino for Point News.